Have you ever wondered how Yahoo Finance calculates its adjusted closing prices? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can calculate that. So here, as of November 22nd, Apple's adjusted closing price and its closing price was $150.18. If we go up to the top here, $150.18, right? So I've just downloaded this data from here. And you can see that for the most part, and I'll do a column for the difference here. So we can see the close minus the adjusted close. And right now it's showing up as zeros until November the 3rd. So what happens on November the 3rd? Well, if we go back on here, November the 3rd, this is before the company's most recent dividend. Okay, and so this is where the adjusted close comes into play because it factors in that, you know, if you've, if you bought it during these times, that was before this most recent dividend. So the, the stock is technically, um, you know, more valuable now in the sense that it's collected that dividend, whereas these ones didn't. Okay, so to, to calculate how we would adjust for this, we have to consider the, the dividend price or the dividend value at the time and the closing price immediately before. So in this case, it's $138.88. Okay, so now what I'm going to need to do is to calculate the dividend impact, so to speak. All right, so this is going to be sort of my discount amount. It's a good way to think about it. Right, so for this first amount here, you know, I'm going to take that dividend of 23 cents divided by that 138.88. Right, that tells me the, the percentage. And I'm going to adjust that out of the price. So one minus that amount, All right? Close that out. And so that's my, my multiplication factor. So now my calculated adjusted close is going to take that multiply it by the closing price. And now we get 138.65. So now let's calculate that difference. So now we're going to take the difference that I just calculated from Yahoo Finance's actual adjusted closing price. And you can see we've got some decimals here, but basically nets out to zero, right? So now if I were to copy this all the way down here, you'll see now my differences are zeros, right? And they keep that way until we get to another dividend. So August 4th, now we have a variance of 23 cents. So if I go to August 4th now, that was the last time, again, a dividend before that. So this time it was 23 cents and the price was 165.81. So 165.81. So now what I'm gonna do is adjust this to change this to 165, actually up here, 165.81. But this doesn't work. Right, this is not correct. And the reason being is that I still have to factor in this previous, uh, this future discount, right? So I, I've got to multiply this by that amount. So I'm factoring in both those, those discounts, those dividend adjustments. And now it factors into zero, right? So now it's got, and actually, I should, need to freeze that one so it's referencing the exact same percentage, right? So now factors in to zero. So now it's working properly, that adjusted closing price, right? So basically you're just carrying that dividend all along the way. You always have to factor in for all those dividend payments. That's what Yahoo Finance is doing here. So again, another variance, May the 5th. And surprise, surprise, that also was just before the dividend. This time it's a 23 cent dividend on 156.77, okay? So again, Let's change this to 23 cents over 156.77. And now this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply this instead of uh, row 78, it's gonna be row 140. So basically I wanna incorporate all these adjustments up above. And so now it equals zero. So the key thing is you, you need to adjust for the dividend, not just the current one, but all, all of the dividends. So the further back you go, the more the adjustments you need to make. So here you'd have to make another adjustment that would factor in all the previous, all the future ones as well.
So the further back you go, the more of a difference there is between the closing price and the adjusted close. So like here we've got 161.41 versus 160.4. So that's almost a dollar difference right there. Whereas if we go to the current one, obviously it's the same because there's no dividend impact here. But here, you know, you're talking a difference of about you know, 23 cents, right? So the further back you go, the bigger the difference is going to be between that and the adjusted closing price. And this is really only a problem for stocks that pay dividends. Like here is Alphabet. Right, it's close and adjusted close is always going to be identical because it doesn't pay, uh, doesn't pay dividend. Now it does have a stock split, and that would technically um, would affect this. But the thing is, Yahoo Finance is always going to adjust the prices to factor in these stock splits to make it easy for you. Otherwise, you know, you'd stuck be uh, being having to do co more complicated calculations than 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 just the dividend. You'd have to factor in the stock split as well. So that's why. You know, even if there's stock splits here, they're reflected in the current price. And so you can see, even going back here, the closing price and the adjusted close are identical because there's no dividends to factor in. And Yahoo Finance will always update for the stock split. So that's the only thing you really need to know about the close and the adjusted close in Yahoo Finance. It's really just the impact of the dividend. Anytime that there's a dividend payment, you know, that's going to create more of a delta between the close and the adjusted close because we're factoring in for the fact that, you know, the, the share price here did not have this dividend. And so this is technically more valuable based on this adjusted close, whereas here it didn't yet have this have this dividend. So in case you're wondering what the difference between the close and adjusted close is, really just those dividend impacts. And if you want to calculate them, you're looking at taking this dividend amount divided by the price immediately uh, before the dividend and then multiplying that by by the price. So again, just to show you one one more time here, you know, we've got that value or we're multiplying it by the by the previous. So we always want to be carrying those differences. And so we've got that dividend that different multiply that needs to be applied based on you know how far back we go so if it's a high dividend it's going to be um you know a, a much bigger impact than than a small dividend yet uh, you know for apple it do doesn't pay a huge yield so it's not going to have that big of an impact but as you can see these discount amounts you know here it's 9954 at the beginning it's only 99834 because there's less dividend income factored in here versus here you know if you bought the stock here there, there was less dividends up until that point versus the, the dividends that you would have collected up until here. So that adjusted close is just factoring in for that. So that's that's the difference in close versus adjusted close in Yahoo Finance. Let me know what you thought and if that was helpful. Thanks for watching.